All right, welcome back to Kinetic Energy 1085. You know, the Constitution of the United States, it's just so old, outdated, written over 200 some odd years ago. You know, none of those things even apply to modern society now. What does, what does a, a, I don't know, a candle tax for lighting have anything to do with modern society? You know, all you people out there that think, oh, the Constitution is for the people and it's a good thing. It's, it's, it's just, it's outdated. It just needs to go away. None of those things apply to modern society, right? All right. We're just going to go over the entire Constitution itself. And then I want you to ask yourself, is this still currently in place and active and, you know, still a process? Or is this outdated and just completely needs to go away? And the last thing I want you to ask yourself is, do I really think this needs to go away? Because it's toxic and it's bad. Let's just jump right into it. All right. So first it talks about the con uh, 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 role of Congress. Is that still in effect today? Do we have a Congress or is that outdated? Number two. The role of the House. Is that outdated or do we still have a House of Representatives? The role of the Senate. Do we still have a Senate? Or is that back in the uh, old musket days and doesn't apply nowadays? Do we still have elections? Do we? I don't know. Maybe that's just something from <laughs> way back in the cannonball days. Elections, cannonball days. Uh, what else? The powers and duties of Congress. Does Congress have duties and powers, or is that outdated? Is that still current right now? Mm. All right. Uh, number six, legislative process. Do we still have a legislature? Mm. I think we do. All right. The president's executive power, number seven. Does the president have executive power? Have we seen this in action? Or is that something from the musket days? So everything I just outlined from the Constitution is still current, it's still part of our process. This is not something talking about um, candle taxes, horses and buggy maintenance and storage fees uh, from back in the 17 and 1800s. Now let's talk about our amendments. Those really bad things that serve no purpose, none in modern society. Your first amendment, guess what? That's your freedom of speech. Freedom of speech still includes your right to go hold a bunch of signs and swear and, you know, talk about how you think everything's bad. Yeah, even you uh, extremist groups out there. So, is freedom of speech racist? And does it only apply to one or two people? That's all of us. Second Amendment, right to keep and bear arms. Shall not be infringed. So, are they talking about... Is this the big one you all talk about? It's so outdated. Are they talking about muskets and cannonballs and black powder rifles specifically for the use of hunting? Nope, doesn't say it anywhere in there. Are there still guns out there? Yes. Here's another kicker. Only criminals are the ones out there committing crimes with guns. You really think that law-abiding citizens are out there robbing banks and killing people? No, because they have a livelihood. They're a good person. So basically, gun control, gun reform is only going to hurt people that are law-abiding citizens versus the criminals. I won't get into that soapbox. Number three, no soldier shall occupy a residence or dwelling without the owner's permission. I guess that could still be in play nowadays, but it hasn't happened in years. But basically, it used to back in the day. And they're saying, you know, no soldier can just, during wartime, come in your house and occupy it without your permission. Is that a good thing or is that a bad, racist thing? So old school, right? Here's a fourth one. Unreasonable searches and seizures. For all of you who hate the cops out there, it means a cop can't just walk into your house and search and seize anything or, well... Can't get too far into that one because I did study law. There are such things called plain view, probable cause, but unreasonable search and seizure. I'm just going to give you one tip on what an unreasonable search and seizure would be. Um, 
someone's looking for a stolen bicycle, cops come to your house, you match the description of someone who stole a motorcycle, okay? They go in your garage and they're looking for a motorcycle in a garage and then they decide to open up your craftsman toolbox and in that craftsman toolbox, they find a pound of cocaine. Okay, can a motorcycle fit in a toolbox? No. Was cocaine listed on the search warrant? No. They can seize it, but they can't charge you for it. That's just one, one little tip about unreasonable, unreasonable searches and seizures. Do you hate that? Should that go away? Should the cops be able to just come to your person, your house, your car, your business, and just search and take whatever they want? Or do you want that to stick around? Do you still want to have that right? The right to remain silent, double jeopardy, and life, liberty, and property. Basically saying the government can't just take what they want from you. Maybe you'll have someone in the White House who just says, I don't want anyone to hold picket signs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take away everyone's picket signs. Well, you know, that, that's your property and they can't just take it. And I'm not going to get into double jeopardy. That's being tried twice for crimes. Um, a speedy trial. You have a right to a speedy trial. Um, and let's go on to seven. You have, to, you have a trial by jury. Do we still have trial by juries? Or is it just some gunslinger out there that just says judge, jury, and executioner? Well, should that go away? Or should you still have a speedy trial and a trial by jury? All right, let's go on to number eight. No excessive bail. Oh, you got a DWI. Bail set for $50,000. Really? Is that racist and bad, or, or should that stick around? Let's say you got charged with a DWI. Do you want a $50,000 bail? Nope. All right, number nine. Rights not being denied. Number 10. Individual... Mm, I can't read my uh, writing here. Individual state rights, because individual states have rights. Uh, we're talking about the elector roles. Do we still have electors? Uh, do they have a role? Or should that go away? Well, think about that for a second. Whatever side you think you're on, um, should it just be open for interpretation on who won, or should there be electors? I guess that's kind of old school and racist too, huh? Oh, well, here's a big one for you all. No slavery. Slavery is abolished. Unless, basically what it's saying is you commit a crime and you're serving community service. So it even talks about no slavery. That's the most anti, I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yes, that's the most anti-racist um, probably amendment on here. I'm sure there's more because there's some amendments to talk about not being discriminated based on age, sex, race, and color. All right. Um... What is defined as a citizen of the United States? I don't know. What's so racist and bad about that? Do we still have a definition of what a citizen is? No denial of rights uh, based on race, uh, color, or previous condition of servitude. Taxes. Yeah. If there's one that should be abolished, it should be taxes. Because quite honestly, there's no taxation without representation. If you don't know what that means, can't get into that soapbox. Just look it up. Um... 17 talks more about senators and filling vacancies. Do we still have a process for filling vacancies when elected officials leave? Uh, prohibition, which was alcohol. Uh, that was amended later on. Um, I don't know. Some states still enforce that. I live in a state that enforces it. You can't buy any kind of alcohol before noon on Sunday. That's a lot of racism right there. Whoo! Really outdated. Voting rights not denied based on sex. Uh, inauguration day. Do we still have an inauguration day or did that only happen in, you know, 17, 1800s? All right. Um, you know, we already talked about Amendment 18, prohibition being amended. Uh, presidential term limits. Do we have presidential term limits? That's still in play or is that back in the musket days? Uh, 23rd is more about elections. Um, 24. The ability to vote even if you didn't pay a poll tax. The 25th Amendment. Oh, some of you know all about this one. The removal of the president under certain circumstances. You know, death, incapacitated, just can't execute the uh, duties of the office. Can't be denied the right to vote over 18. Um, 27. When elected officials start collecting their pay. 
I don't know. I don't really know what's racist, outdated, or wrong about that. So tell me what's outdated in the entire Constitution. What's outdated? Does it talk about anything to do with, um, does it have anything to say about death by hanging? You know, putting someone's head in the gallows? Does it talk about muskets and candle taxes for lighting? No. So what is outdated that needs to go away about the Constitution? And now that you know everything the Constitution talks about, which is a benefit to you and me, doesn't society, it doesn't you know, differentiate between what political party you're involved in. It is for everyone. So, but again, they don't teach this in schools anymore. I don't even know if they teach it in college anymore because, you know, these uh, institutions are trying to indoctrinate people into to just believing, uh, you know, like the movie 1984, whatever Big Brother says. So you don't teach it anymore. The only thing you hear about on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram is the Constitution is this outdated document written 200 some odd years ago. But now that I just outlined the basics to you and what they mean, do you still think it should go away? This is a good thing. That's it. Make your own determination from here.